Well, I feel like I'm doing more work on my own things lately, which is kind of a good thing because I put off, put off a lot of my own work. Uh, let me get a flashlight. So I had an oil leak on my 2013 F-150 EcoBoost for some time, and it's just a. It doesn't even really leave any drifts on the drops on the ground. Uh, my wife mentioned something one time when she drove the truck that she smelled something smelled like something burning. Well, it is the crap. What did I just do? It's the oil pump on the back side of the engine. Well, I went to replace it probably a month ago. And two of the bolt heads stripped, which I've never seen happen before and I've never had anything off back there. So uh, shout out to the person that assembled this engine. Thank you for over tightening the bolts. But I've got new bolts, I've got the vacuum pump. I'm going to try to get this loose somehow. Uh, I'll probably have to end up cutting a couple bolts and I was hoping to maybe slide it off, but I think I'm gonna have to loosen bolts, cut cut the heads of the bolts off on a couple of them, slide it back, and then cut the bolts again, and then walk them out of the engine somehow. That's the only thing I can think of. So uh, I'll give it a shot for a little bit and try to film what I can. Okay, so I got the vacuum pump off, but it was a pain. I had to use a uh, carbide bit. You can see here, uh, I tried using a long air hammer chisel, but being eight millimeter bolts, you really couldn't get onto them. And so, you can see this thing's been leaking for some time. Um, I don't, I mean, if they make a reseal kit, I guess I could have, I mean, I broke this one, but, I don't know, the only thing I've ever known is to uh, get a new one, a new vacuum pump, to get new seals and everything because it not only leaks uh, externally or whatever here, um, but it leaks on the back side back here as well, so I don't know. only thing I know is to get a new vacuum pump. Um, I got mine on Rock Auto, I think it was... Pretty sure it was quite a bit cheaper than the uh, dealership. And so, yeah. Bad thing is, as if you can see here, you got something to point right here on that wire harness. I caught it with the carbide bit. And there's a couple wires showing now. So, now I get to cut up, open that harness, repair those wires. And then I can put my vacuum pump. So I'll fix that wiring and then put the pump on. So I'll update you whenever I get any further or I just burn the truck down. So I don't know. Yeah. Okay. If you go to Harbor Freight, you can get the Marine Heat Shrink and specially designed adhesive lining for waterproof marine application. Well, that's not just for marine application, it's for any. It works really well, and so that is a good sealed connection. Up in there, I'm going to loop the wires and then wrap some electrical tape around it. And I think I even have some of that cloth tape that'll uh, look factory. Okay, keep going. Got it all wired up. Got electrical tape wrapped around it, and then I did some convolute tubing, threw a zip tie around it because the electrical tape was hard to get in there and keep it sticking. So that convolute tubing will keep that tape that I put on there on it, and the zip tie will hold that in place. Now we can finally clean up and start getting the vacuum pump in place. Okay, I got the new vacuum pump, everything back up in there, got it tight, and I forgot to show you. But the, what I like to do is I put some silicone on the outside of this gasket and I put it all the way around. Because on the factory, they only put it at two spots. I want to say it's right in this area, right here, basically to where the uh, 
cam cap goes on either side and so they're, they want to seal where those uh, seams are. But I like to put it all the way around. That way it helps seal even better because that is most likely what is leaking the most, especially on mine. You can see where it's caked in there, everything. So I just like to add a little extra. Zoomed in. You can see the new one back there, right here. Got the wiring harness all fixed back there. Got this wiring harness ran back. I took it down for the time being. I zip tied it back up here. That way it's held there, doesn't drop on the turbo. And I will put all this back together. Put the inner wheel liner back in, inner fender, whatever you want to call it. And I will let it sit overnight and let that silicone seal up if uh if anything else happens with this i'll update you guys but most likely nothing um it's a uh, it's a pretty simple job i've done tons of these and uh i have my headlight on and now i got a mark on my head i've done tons of these and never had those bolts strip out and the heads of them and so it was real weird that uh mine was like that but it is what it is. Job's done now. That way it doesn't leak any more oil. Uh, next thing, like I said, well, I don't know if this video is going to be out before the oil change video uh, going over the oil sample. But next thing to do are the cash cans. 